we can't get past the, the Cuyahoga Gorge. Except we can. Because as you guys remember, Father Torque said somebody else did it. So let's go ahead and check out the sign. Huh, this is interesting. Looks like a homage to somebody. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Uh -huh. hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. Okay, so now we have kind of a goal. We can basically recreate the jump that Ricky Myron did, but we need what he had. We yeah. need an automotive hover lift. We need a solid or destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. Try and say that fast, by the way. And also we need Ricky Myron's ramp. <laughs> Thankfully though, we know where the ramp is. We just don't know how to get there. So that being said, let's go ahead and uh, take care of one of the parts via our two friends. And from here on in, they will be called Pinky and the Brain, just because that's what I want to call them. <laughs> it, it's not even the same guy who plays Pinky. It's like, but it's the same guy who plays Brain. Yeah. He also played, he also was in the critic. He was Orson Welles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rosebud. Yes, Rosebud Pigs. Yes, yes. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that he's done that have been amazing. I know he's done Batman the Animated Series. He had a role in that. Oh, he, did. he really sounds like Orson Welles, which is funny. Oh, he does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he does. Um, hence why they hence why they made fun of uh, Orson Welles in Pinky and the Brain. Thanks. Oh, hi, buddy. Okay, well, go ahead and follow me. <laughs> Look at him run. I'm sorry, but hearing him say, look at him run, just, just makes me laugh inside. It really does. Um, but yeah, no, he, they, so you've heard of the ominous, or the, the moment where Orson Welles gave crap to a voice director uh, over an advertisement or something like that. Yeah, they recreated that scene in Pinky and the Brain. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Boom. That was enough. Oh, hi, Lemo. Boss, it was Nestor's fault. Get in quick. I have a plan. We're going to lure the Corley women out of hiding with a bike. Boss, she already has a bike. Yes, but this one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. It's now hurry. I love you, Mark. You you know how to take one average guy and just make him dastardly. Okay, so now that we've done that, we actually have an additional place to go on this road, which is where the car runs. And as you've kind of gotten the impression, bikes run on wheels, but cars don't. Cars run on hover lifts, automotive hover lifts. So at that point, let's go ahead and, well, take the automotive hover lift. We need that. It's not too up there. It's okay, so here's the car. So all we gotta do is just take one of the hover lifts, right? So let's just go ahead and check the hovercraft. Just think about that, like hover cars. Gee, that's futuristic. Yeah. Gee, I wish that existed. I don't touch anything without wheels. Okay, so then we'll we'll just go ahead and extend your hands, tire iron. In the world of full throttle, a tire iron is the most useful thing ever. And there you go. Now we have an automotive hover lift. So, that leaves a destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. Again, try to save that three times fast. And the K er, and the ramp that the K-Fish have. So it's time for us, Alex, to go on to the old mine road. We gotta go and look for some trouble. But no, we don't care about this. We're officially done with the semi. 
And onto the onto the mine road we go. And we're gonna be spending quite a bit of time here, Alex, because yeah, you that. we're gonna be fighting a lot of biker gangs. And one of the things we also have to do is learn how to fight them. So here's a cave fish. I mean, this already solves our problem, right? So let's just go ahead and uh, just, technically we have a couple of weapons to work with. We have the tire iron. So let's just go ahead and start smashing them. Can't reach. Oh crap. Oh. So, the cave fish have a little bit of an innovative way to avoid that. They just oil slick whomever comes up and tries to start crap with them. So we probably have to find something a little bit more longer reaching to avoid the oil slick. Which means fighting other biker gangs. Oh, hi, buddy. I see you come for a lesson in time. Pie close to you. Well, you can continue to say that I am, but are you yeah. accurate in that sense? Yeah. Apparently this is turning into road rash. Ah, crap. It, it kind of is. <laughs> and I, I don't have a proper weapon for him yet, but we do need that one. So let's see if we can get a better luck. Otherwise, let's see. Oh, and here's another bike coming up. And this would be a vulture. Say there, is that a pre-regulation destroyer-class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-da! <coughs> so now we know how to get the recoil booster fuel because we just gotta beat him. Problem is, he will get away as fast as he possibly can. So you need to find something that will catch him off guard. Which again means collecting weapons. Oh my gosh, did we get her right off the bat? Awesome. You like choppers, huh? Holy crap, a chainsaw, How about Alex! This chopper? It's a good thing that I have <laughs> this. <laughs> oh my eyes! <laughs> this is the only character that you can use fertilizer on, and I just got the most powerful weapon in the mine road. Nice. I'm not even kidding. The only thing it doesn't work on is the cave fish. But it works on this guy. <laughs> For some reason, I'm having a little bit of a delay. So... But that's what you gotta do. You just gotta chainsaw him very quickly. Ah, crap. Here's another cave fish. So I'll show you guys. So the chainsaw's here. Oh, wow, it worked! Nice. <laughs> Usually you have to get a plank of wood. Oh, but yeah, so the other problem is you beat them. They blow up the bike. They self-destruct the bike. So you have to find a way to be able to knock them out so they don't do that, plus get their goggles. It looks kind of like a Tusken Raider. <laughs> kind of, kind of. In fact, the speculation amongst the cavefish is they actually are not from this world. But we won't know because we were supposed to get elaboration on that in the sequel to Full Throttle, which Tim Schafer had been writing and he wasn't able to put out. Simply because LucasArts was in tough straits at that time. Wow, are you really a polecat? Yes, yep. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am, bitch. You can actually have full-on conversations with these people and it's fun. <laughs> Hi. Aggressive little boy. Bye bye. And this one gives a weapon. Now we have a chain. Nice. So you could graduate up to the chainsaw if you were having issues and didn't know about the fertilizer. But we don't have to worry about that because we have the chainsaw and that is God on the mine road. Okay, well, I'm not even waiting to talk to you. You drop anchor or something? Damn it. Sorry, gotta run! Sorry, gotta run. I keep on going up to him way too fast. Crap. Oh! You know what? Crap. He does have a he does have a gimmick and we have it now. So next time <coughs> we gotta use the chain on him.
get used to this, guys. We're, we're going to be killing a lot of people. Because <laughs> now that we have the chainsaw, we have pretty much the answer to everybody except the ones that are plot driven. Oh, hi, Mr. Rottweiler. Okay, well, I guess we're going to get something from you. Oh, yes, this guy we need. So, hi, buddy. And with him, we get a plank of wood. This is actually the answer to the cave fish, Alex. It is the longest reaching weapon you can get on the mine road. So all you have to do is smack his bike with the plank. You don't get the oil slick and you knock him out. Oh, you're gonna love this now. So this is the same dude, but let's just go ahead and do this. Lead divers. There you go. That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. Mm. So now we have the booster fuel. All we need is the ring. And we have the answer to that. However, I'm kind of, ah, crap, we have a kingfish. I was hoping to be able to show another one, but, oh well. Okay, so this is gonna take a magic touch. Ah! You have to do it just right. And you have to stay, maintain a certain distance before he just wrecks you. Okay, so, another Rottweiler. Ah, buddy! And here's another cave fish. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use our research device for an innovative way. There we go! So now we have the cave fish goggles. The goggles that do something. So now we Our can see everything in something. cave fish vision. Now we have to pay really close attention to the... Oh. Okay, so this is the mine road exit. So I, I got that wrong, but that's all right. We can get back on the mine road. Okay, all we gotta do is just turn ourselves around. have to get used to the mouse on this monitor that we're playing on. Technically, we're not even playing this on a PC. We're actually in our, our comfy setup. Yeah. So I have to just kind of get used to it. Okay, so put on the cave fish goggles. Then we just got to pay attention to what the lower left corner of the screen says. Okay, so that's exit. Cave. So here is the secret entrance of the cave fish. Wow, this this looks dark and daunting. Okay. Now you technically only get one shot at this, but stupid crystals look at that. Do you get now why people thought they were aliens? Yeah. See many Christmas. And unfortunately, because the sequel never came out, actually what happened was it became kind of a twisted metal knockoff and then eventually got canceled. Oh, <laughs> bummer. But yeah, that was supposed to kind of elaborate on the cave fish, never happened. So let's go ahead and uh, pick up the ramp. Like I said, we got one chance at this. If you F it up, then you better hope that you have a save file. But we don't. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a save file, but I don't want to make a spare one for this. Why not? Because the death is not, like the death isn't really a death. It's just that they reclaim the ram, and then they put it back, and you just do it again and again and again. So now that we have the ram, here's what you want to do: just go ahead and we'll we'll take off. But you remember the the one thing that they use the goggles for, Alex? The detectors around, yeah. Well, the tech is around you, but also, they use it to pick up these little dots on the road, so that they know that they're on the road. So what happens, Alex, if we just take a couple of those dots off? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, now they're not happy with us. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. 
can't, I can't do it. There you go. Okay, so now we no longer need to go to the mine road. I'm done with these boys. Which is sad because we weren't able to get my favorite weapon. Uh, if you play it right, Alex, you can get a blonde rot wheeler who will give you a chain, like a, a basically a morning star with a skull. Oh, cool. So like a, a skull with spikes in it. <laughs> nice. And it's actually a really power. It's like the second most powerful weapon on the mine road, aside from the chainsaw. But we weren't able to do it, and I'm not going to go hunt down that rot wheeler. Well, let's just go ahead and, and move the story forward. First of all, by putting the automotive hover lift on our bike. Must be just slowly walk over to my bike. Must walk slowly. I am more badass that way. Almost there, Bren. Almost there. Okay, so we put Looks some. okay for an aftermarket part. All right, so we've got that. And technically, you could carry all the weapons with you through the rest of the game. Sweet. So it's time. We have the ramp. We have the lift. We have the recoil booster. Let's do this thing. So, it's time to get past Poyahoga right. Gorge. I've modified my bike enough. And you'll love this moment. All the way back at the main branch. Makes sense. At this point, recoil booster. Go! What, boys? Woo! Almost all of them. Oh. Uh, uh, Fun fact, if you didn't equip the lift, you just... I can't make your deal. And I think the remaster one doesn't even let you have that death. They just say, oh, I don't have a Oh, bummer. Oh, and apparently we're riding into the night, Alex. Well, we that's, how, that's how far we had to go. But we are officially at the last section of the game. Damn, really? This game is literally in thirds. And this is the final area because welcome, Alex, to Corville. Wow. This is where Corley, Corley Motors is based. And also where we need to find Mo and stop Rip Burger from his dastardly plan of making minivans. Minivans. Corley minivans. <laughs> Can you think of a more dastardly plot? None at all. None at all. All right. So let's just go ahead and go. I love doing this. Just go ahead and go up to the front office. This will work out so well. So here's the front office of Corley Motors. Let's, let's just let's knock on the door. I'm here for the shareholders meeting. Mr. Ripperger has postponed the meeting until Mr. Corley's murderers are apprehended. All the shareholders were notified. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't checked my voicemail lately, Mac. <laughs> ben has voicemail. Okay, so this is a another hinge of the plan, so to speak. The shareholders meeting is canceled because Adrian Ripburger is wanting to bring uh, Malcolm Corley's killers to justice. Okay. Well, at that point, that means that either we have to be dead or caught, and probably Ma uh, Maureen has the same problem, too. So really quick, I want to be able to show this off. Uh, there you go. I don't walk. Oh, I don't no. walk. Get, on, get back on your dang bike. Ben! Damn it. Okay, so you get on. And this is actually where we need to go next. Go off the road a little bit, you come across this place. Well, that's... That's just so touchy-feely, isn't it? There's the Vulture's hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the Vultures. And I guess it's all true. So the Vulture's hideout is protected by a minefield. Yeah, that makes sense. That's not good. Because we can't... Ben won't even cross the minefield. But we have to find a way to get across it. So let's just go ahead and explore Corville and see what we can actually find to help out our cause. 
And unfortunately, this is Corley Motors, so you can't really go much further up here. This is where you can go next. Souvenirs here. Oh, hi. We got your hats. 